So currently, or last year, 2018, we had a complete or total market volume of more than 1 billion US dollar for the systems and 250 million US dollar for the material. So in total, 1.2 billion US dollars. And as we can see, the next four years, we will have a really strong growth and we will triple the volume um, in the whole market up to 3.5 billion US dollars. So there's a strong growth. We will triple the volume in the next four years. And this is really good. And this shows also or will um, underline the fact that uh, industrial 3D printing moves from rapid prototyping into serial production. So this is a really good message, I think. But what are now the different technologies in metal 3D printing? And in industrial 3D printing, we see four main technologies. The youngest one, kind of a teenager, is the metal binder jetting. The other one is the direct energy deposition production method. And then we have the powder bed fusion based technologies with the electron beam and with the laser beam called DMLS. So let's have a look on a comparison complexity wise and part size wise. So on the, on the X axis, we can see a potential part size and on the Y axis is there uh, the complexity shown. And when we have a look on metal binder jetting, we can see that uh, parts up to 200 millimeters or maybe a bit more are possible with metal binder jetting. And regarding that complexity, um, there are more or less simple or not that heavy complex geometries possible. In comparison to that, direct energy deposition has a lower complexity. Uh, you can uh, you can apply it to the part, but larger parts are possible. This is also good due to the high build rate you can achieve, and you are not limited to a certain build chamber uh, like you are on the metal binder jetting and the powder bed fusion technology. So you are free in the room or in your production site. You are not limited in a process chamber, so you can build really big parts if you want, but with a lower detail resolution and a more simple geometry um, complexity. Direct metal laser sintering, DMLS, has here the largest scope of applications. So size-wise, we can build big parts. And also complexity-wise, we can, uh, due to the high detail resolution, go in really high complexities and can achieve um, really good results also by, by uh, applying these complexities. Electron beam melting is a, um, quite similar complexity-wise like DMLS, but uh, due to the to size of the process chamber, you can just apply smaller parts or build smaller parts. So I think this gives a really good picture regarding part size and complexity of these four main industrial additive manufacturing technologies. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumb up. And if you'd like to have further information about educational content or other webinars from EOS, just click the links in the description box below. We hope to see you soon in one of our next videos. Until then, go and subscribe our channel. Bye!